okay, I was in your world for a second, and then it just exploded out. Look, oh, it's raining pots. <laughs> hey, I'm Matt with Schematical, and this week we've crafted things more complex than we've ever crafted before. The reason for that being is that before when we were trying to figure out if they were using the crafting table or not, we just had to take a look at whatever they were pointing at and hope that they were actually stopped and focused on it. This time, with the action buffer stuff that I talked about last two videos, we actually send the item along with the craft action to the server for the bot to carry out so we know exactly what block they're trying to use for the crafting table and it makes it a lot easier for us to determine if that's a valid block or not and if they're close enough to actually do the action. So we've had some great luck with them crafting all sorts of stuff. They've crafted all the stuff, the wooden stuff that you could want. Wooden sticks, wooden pickaxes, wooden axes. Sadly and oddly enough, other people have caught them using the tools. For example, TNT caught them using the wooden pickaxe to gather stone, uh, but I have not been able to do that. So the, the other users that are playing around on the project have actually managed to do it. Another thing I did, because I did spend way too much time on this crafting stuff, is I built a new UI for the, the neural nets and actually added some assemblage of scrolling. Still needs work, but take a look. Check it out. I made it scroll. Still hideous and barely functional, but a step in the right direction. I'm gonna keep working on this. Okay, that's more like it. I also made it so the ones that actually have attachments stacked at the top, so we don't have to scroll as much. Yeah, now I should probably fix this. So most of the rest of this video is highlights of various things that they've done. Uh, no infograph this week. Before I get into that though, if you guys like neural networks, machine learning, AI, applied to gaming, Minecraft, possibly RimWorld someday or some other games, hit that sub button, smash the sub button. I always sound like a tool when I say that. So without further ado, here's the highlights from the week. Okay, I was in your world for a second and then it just exploded out. Look, oh, it's raining pots. <laughs> is this is this normal for you? Is this why is it raining bots? It's just cruel. So unless they're targeting something over there to go attack. I gotta push it, I'm curious. No, oh no. Now I need a button and I don't have one. Unless they select the air to go like do something with, they shouldn't navigate off. I just, I think they're just a bit crowded maybe. Yeah, cause these, with, the, with the new action buffer stuff, they shouldn't intentionally walk off this thing and the, as that guy does. Let's see, let's hop into observe mode and see if we can follow one that wanders off. Oh, oh, oh. What's he trying to do, a dig action? He survived? Oh no, he died. They're pushing each other off. Attack action. He's trying to attack, I don't know, the ground there? Man, they're just jumping to their deaths. What's he going? He's trying to melee attack something. The ones that are running off the side seem to be attacking, yeah, what's he attacking? Probably another bot that just died. Man, I do love that we can draw lines in game, that makes debugging so much easier. And if you see this negative life end, that's just because they have no score events that tell them when their life ends, so it does I need to add that to the spawn packet. This guy's just watching the sunset. Yeah, it's, it's really, attacking is not the strategy, guys. He's trying to attack. Luckily, someone blocked him. Oh, wait, the ground's blocked him. He's dead. <laughs> this guy's doing well. Come on, okay, good, good. He's trying to place Oak Log somewhere. I have an org count of 560. That doesn't sound right. Uh oh, some of them are just getting hung up there on spawn. I think that happens when I fall off. And I go too far, I must leave the chunk that the spawn blocks are in. Looks like the blocks being mined are being restored fairly quickly. What I'm thinking we should do is I want to increase the amount of spawn blocks so they don't push each other off. And I'm going to give them a little bit more of the bedrock here. And since this is this is just a copy of your map running on my computer, I don't feel I feel I feel almost guilty editing your map, but it's now running on my machine. So right now I think a lot of them are getting knocked off by the other ones spawning there so the more spawn blocks we can give them the less 
likely there are just wander off the thing. And, uh, and uh, if they wander off, I'm not going to put a wall up here. So if they wander off, they wander off. It's fine. I just want to give them a fighting chance because if another bot spawns in and pushes them off, that's a little unfair. I well, like I had it going well for a second. Then he dug his way all the way through the bottom of it. There we go. Spawn message is sent. Yeah, man, we 650 of them came unhooked. That's, that's got to be a record. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got to add in the new spawn blocks because a bunch of them just got pushed off. Good. Now they got a shot. I'm in a cloud. Now they got a shot at it, I think. Just slightly more fair. See, these guys are getting pushed off, and then one decides to attack that one. There is a command now where I can just go like this, CC block reset, and that'll put it back to the state that it thinks it's supposed to be in. The problem is if your game crashes and you start over, it uses whatever state currently exists, which is a problem. So yeah, they gotta craft pretty quickly in this, in order for them to survive. They have to dig very fast and craft very fast. It's interesting, more of them seem to be dying in here than in mine, and there's wood is literally underneath them. <gasps> there's no crafting box. Ah, crap. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, this should uh, give them a little more life. Well, someone already dug up one and a half of the crafting blocks I just placed. This guy's clearly digging the spawn block. Yeah, that guy's jumping off the edge or getting pushed. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Nope. It's the Gen 7. They gotta be doing pretty decent too and attacking someone that fell off. And this guy is digging crafting table. Are all the crafting tables gone already? This guy's trying to place a block crafting table. Low details, action buffer. Trying to dig the crafting tables. And again, trying to dig the spawn block, which is completely useless. This is a gen three. Well, they're gonna die out soon. I think I got a down their reach distance a little bit or something. He's trying to use the bowl on air. Does not seem smart. I think I just came up with it where there could be a potential bug here. Oop, this guy's at 109. Let's see what you're doing. Org, details, score events. Crafted sticks, crafted a sword. Have you crafted a wooden pickaxe? Looks like he's got an oak fence gate that he is trying to use on random stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of work to be done here still. What I need to do is add it if they fail enough times trying an action that they just will stop doing it completely. Hey, you got a sword. I would love for them to be able to place oak fence gates. Yeah, it's, this guy's trying to place air on air. It shouldn't be doable. Oh, let me hop out and look at this guy front and center and see what he's got going on. Okay, so he's holding it. He's equipping it. Oh, boy. I'm gonna have to fix the map up a little bit here. I think the reset stuff is actually fighting me on this. Here we go. You guys see that? There was Oak Gates. Yeah, there was another one. But they are doing well. Besides these guys who are clearly trying to attack me right now. It's not gonna work in creative mode. We have managed to craft things with the crafting tables that we hadn't previously done. And they are placing Oak Gates. And one instance that TNT caught, I have not caught yet. They managed to craft stone tools, so I haven't got there yet. And a special thanks to TNT for the map. And he's jumping to his death because he wants to attack a bot that is already dead. Uh, basically, I think there should be some validation. If it's already dead, please stop trying to attack it. Yeah, if not, it's alive, you're done. It should be good. Oh, it might, you know what? I could, I could put that up here. There we go. Well, that'll stop them from jumping off the edges so much. So look at this. All those exceptions that were in there, gone. Don't know where they are. Oh, and there's one. The <laughs> second I say they're gone, it shows up. Lovely. And that's server side. Um, that's, that requires a server side restart. Uh, give me a minute. Okay, back up. Here we go. Here we go. Back to game. A bunch of guys just died. And they're brain dead. That's not good. And the starfish, again, attempting to dig the spawn block. It's, it is eerie that they don't try and dig bedrock. Maybe it's the validation. 
have not seen him try and dig bedrock. Not even once. Bomb blocks all the time. Score 26, 37. What's he, what's he racking up? Observation options. Display scores. Save. He's crafting buttons. He crafted a wooden hoe. I actually don't think I've seen wooden hoes yet. So that is a new first. And if he figures out how to place the fence gate, I will be very happy. Block placed. Crafting table. Block placed fence gate. So there should be a fence gate up there. That's good. 99. Crafting table. He's trying to craft a wooden axe using the crafting table, but he dug himself too deep and it failed. Interesting. I'm just gonna try it again, I bet. This navigation sucks. There's the oak fence. Wait, did he dig all the way down? Huh. That's a trip. Hours and hours and hours of running the simulation. They've done all sorts of crazy stuff. Building buttons on buttons on buttons. More crafting tables than you can shake a stick at. Planks. They've definitely crafted tools. They even placed another crafting table over here. But they have yet to use a tool on a stone block at all. They have not managed to do anything with stone yet. I even put these stone pillars here to try and speed it up. They did it for TNT, I guess. The, another one of the guys simulating, uh, but not in my world yet. Damn it. Every time I, I try and hit that, I forget which one's the, the button to actually do it. So that should reset that. So at least the main area is less crowded. All right, thanks again. I'm Matt with Schematical, and uh, thank you guys for watching. There'll be more work on this coming. I've been doing videos almost weekly. Well, actually, yes, weekly. Uh, so thank you for all you guys that are subscribing. We're almost to 1,000 subscribers right now. That's kind of crazy. If you're interested in running this stuff, the link to the source codes in the show notes. Also, there's a link to Discord. We can build a jar for you. You guys can try it on your own. Uh, so feel free to hop on the Discord and ask around if you need some help. And finally, I'd like to thank my uh, patrons. Uh, you guys are awesome. You're helping me pay for the server costs for running this thing. So thank you so much. That's it. I'll see you guys next week. How did this guy even get in here? How did, we're on a, a platform floating in the sky, and yet somehow a merchant decided to show up <laughs> at random up here in the sky. No idea. Well, he's alive. <laughs>